Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sticker sheet using Canva. So I have Canva open ready to go and the first thing you're going to need to do is create a new design using the button in the top right corner and clicking A4. On the first page you're going to create the backing sheet. This is what we will cut round making a die cut later on in Cricut. I'm going to be adding a element to this. I'm going to use a rounded square. If you want the edges to be rounded, use a rounded square. If you want normal edges, use a normal square. This is how you're going to get the background of the sticker sheet. Because later on in this video, when we download, we are going to download with a transparent background. So this bit is required. You can then change it back to white as I've done here. If you want a different colour, you can use a different colour, but I always go with a white background. Once you have done that, you then want to add all of the information you want to be on the sticker sheet but not printed. So for me that is my logo which is just a simple brush stroke that is in the blue on colour theme and then Chloe May Creations written over it in a particular font. Once you have done this, you then want to duplicate the page. This is so that you can still see where everything is. And I delete the background again because I no longer need that. And I leave the logo just so that I can see where it is on the sheet so that I don't overlap anything when designing the stickers. So now I'm going to use the Canva elements to create my stickers and I'm going to use abstract shapes for this one. I'm also going to add some text to these and I have sped up the video so we don't waste too much time on me fussing about. So now you can see we've got the two separate pages you're then going to want to go to share, download, PNG, transparent background, and then download them to your computer. Then you're going to want to open the zip file ready to go into the Cricut software, where you're going to create a new project, and then you're going to go to upload, upload design, and drag across the files. I always put these through as complex, it just seems to work best. We're then going to save them as print and cut files. And as you can see on this one, you can see that it has a transparent background so that the Cricut will know where to cut, making it a nice clean sticker. This also wants to be a print and cut file. So once you've uploaded both to the system, you then want to highlight them so that they go onto your canvas. We are then going to resize these. I've got mine in inches, so it will be four and a half by 6.6, .6, I believe, for the background. And then the stickers themselves will come out slightly smaller because you're removing where the logo is. So the background has been done, and now I will shrink down the stickers to match. So you can leave them as they are. This will cause them to have a no edge to the stickers. I personally prefer to have an edge to the stickers where they show a white edge. So you can do this now in Cricut using the offset and I set mine to 0 0.5 so they always come out black however you can change it to any colour you like again I'm going to put mine to white because I like them to have a white edge you then need to highlight both and flatten it this will make sure that you've got one cut line per sticker. If you don't flatten them, it will cut round the edge of the sticker that we've designed in Canva and the offset. Okay, so the next step is to duplicate the background. I'm duplicated so it's four times, sorry, three times so that I have four in total. You're then going to center these. This will make sure that the cut is 
in the exact same place every time, and then you're going to attach them all together so they become a group. You then want to put the stickers back to the front of all of them so they will show up on the print. And again, you want to center those, but only center those in the middle. You don't want it to cover your logo. You're then going to highlight them all and attach them. Now you just want to lay it out, so I have done it so that I can, I know I can get two sticker sheets per sticker paper, A4 piece of paper. I save these just in case anything goes wrong between me printing and cutting the design. You don't want to print something out and lose the design because you haven't saved it and then have to try and re-replicate it in the exact same way, which sometimes can be difficult and then leads to the print being unusable. Now we're gonna make it. Let's continue and send to printer. I choose to leave the bleed on and use the system dialog, as you can see here. And then I change the settings to get a higher quality print out of my printer. This is different for every printer, so definitely do some research if you are looking to improve the quality. So as you can see on mine, I've got a dial. This is the Cricut Explore 2. Um, and mine comes with all of these settings. So I just turn this one to vinyl. And I can double check that on my screen, which you can see. Okay, now I want to show you how that has worked. So as you can see here, it's, these edges are pulling away. Um, just kind of pops out for you there. And I can show you here with a sticker, it's coming straight off. I was just editing the video and realised I never filmed an outro yesterday. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching until the end. The last clip does cut off slightly. I am just basically talking through the fact that the sticker sheet comes off nicely from the rest of the sticker paper and showing you the stickers are still attached to the sticker sheet as we would like it to be but peel away nicely. If you have followed this tutorial tag me in your social media posts you can find me on the below and yeah I'm going to try posting once a week so also comment below what you would like to see next.